Hi, my name's Tom, welcome to Quickly Weekly, and in this lesson we're going to be talking about something really straightforward but is really important. We're not going to be playing any licks on the guitar, we're going to be talking about the guitar setup. Now as far as setup goes, there's two main things I like to think about, and that's string gauge and action height. They're the most important things as far as playability is concerned with the instrument. Now string gauge wise, I hop about a bit. I started on nines, so I got very small hands and wanted to do the big uh, Jimmy Page bends. Uh, and then because of you know everyone moaning that nines are for girls or, or wimps or whatever, I kept moving up the string gauges and moved, from, moved to tens and then elevens, and then back to tens, then back to nines, then tens and elevens again, and just sort of moved around. Now, uh, early on, my string gauge was influenced by what other people used and what I should be using, quote unquote. And fairly recently, um, I've become comfortable just using whatever I'm comfortable with, which I know is a novel idea, but is what I should have been doing in the first place. I watched a fantastic video on uh, Rob Chapman's channel, which I'll put a link to in the description, um, which uh, he basically talks through um, or plays you through one of his guitars in the same setup but with different string gauges on and he uses 8s and then 11s which is sort of the two wider ends that I've used, I've never really gone as low as 8s and the sound difference is basically not there um, so that made me more comfortable using um, sort of 9s and in December, so for, for the last 6 months I've been uh, in uh, all 4th tuning which uh, it requires the top two strings to be tuned up a semitone each and I want to use thin strings for that so I put nines on this in fact this same set in fact I haven't changed set since I, uh, I moved I use elixirs and they tend to last me I know this is going to sound ridiculous but I usually use a set of elixirs and it lasts me um, anywhere between six to ten months depending on how much gigging or, or whatever I'm doing and I'm playing it every day so that's my uh, endorsement of elixir strings there um, so that's the first thing, um, is string gauge. Now, um, uh, another thing that informs m my move, my changing of string gauge is how the guitar feels. I might be playing nines for a year or whatever, and then I'll get, I'll get the feeling where I think, oh, and I haven't got the feedback that I want on, on the string. Not because the string's dead or anything, which they probably are by that point, but um, I'm not getting the fight, and I'm not getting the... Um, resistance that I like. So I think, oh, okay, I'll just move up string gauge. And my assumption for this comes from the fact that I play a lot of acoustic guitar and I play 11s on acoustic, so I think, okay, I want to make it feel some more like that. Now, I haven't got the uh, any other string gauges with me, so I was in a bit of a rut, so I thought, okay, I'll mess around with my um, my action, which I've never done before. My action's always been set as low as I can physically get it without any strings choking, which having messed around this morning is clearly not the way I should have been doing it for the last 10 years. Um, so what I did, and this is based on uh, a, a video that I saw, it's the um, guitar player from Darth, uh, Emil, I think his name is, I don't know his second name because I'm terrible at remembering things, um, who has got absolutely phenomenal technique and tremendous tone. Uh, he uses tens tuned down uh, a tone, so I figured it, you know, tension-wise it was equal. And he talks about raising his action rather than having it ridiculously low, because he likes that feedback. So I thought, okay, I'll try that. Um, and I basically raised my action, um, I'd say probably a whole turn on each of, on each of these uh, screws. I've got a three saddle uh, Telecaster bridge, if you can see that. Uh, it's the uh, Tele Custom model, uh, the 72 or whatever, but you, you can do this with all your guitars. If you've got a Les Paul, you have to raise all of them or whatever. But I just raised them by, by a whole turn, t uh, turn each, which was a fair amount, and it's made the world a difference. Like, it's still ridiculously easy to play, but now my sustain's hugely improved, and it just feels great. Like, I don't get that... I don't know, it, it almost felt like everything was too slack in a way, or it was... I wasn't getting the resistance I liked, it wasn't singing out as much. So my tip for this week, I know I've been talking a lot, it's because this sort of minor thing has made a huge world of difference, um, is if you um, uh, are in a rut with your um, setup, if your guitar doesn't feel the way you want it to feel, before you jump to changing string gauge, have a go at setting your action higher. It sounds counterintuitive to everything I've ever learned, you know, from that shred culture and all that. But um, uh, I can still play just as fast as I I have been doing before. Like it's it's no different. I'm not getting any extra pain in my hands, but everything just feels much nicer under my fingers. I always thought that I'd want the lowest action in the world, but obviously um, I've 
you know, I've never questioned it, so I've never even thought about it, and, and this feels fantastic. In fact, these top three strings could do with even going up, up some more. So this is my tip if you've ever been in, uh, or if you're in a rut now with your, your setup and your guitar doesn't feel the way you want it to feel, then um, give this a go. Um, just try raising, raising your action and see what happens. My sustain is amazing, my pinch harmonics are singing out. <laughs> Way longer than they were before. My bends aren't choking out. I can do sort of, you know, ten and a half bends, and it sounds great. So that's my tip for this week: is just try messing around with your action and see if you can, uh, you know, see your guitar in a whole new light. So hopefully this is some use to you. Uh, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.